Today, we're going to be looking at a couple of our search bar best practices and really how to make sure that you're not only optimizing it, but really taking advantage of one of the most important pieces of your site. You know, nowadays, you know, you really want to make sure that anybody who visits the site is not only having a great experience through your collection or your category pages, but also really being able to leverage the search bar to, you know, either look for products they not they may not be familiar with, try and get, you know, more specific or curated results, or really just kind of be able to search for anything in the site and ensure that not only are they, you know, being able to get to those relevant results, but having a great user experience throughout that process. So we're going to be going over a couple different sort of suggestions, recommendations that we've definitely seen work out for our customers and things that you can definitely do on your end to ensure that you're really maximizing the potential of the search bar. We definitely recommend having a search bar on the site. You know, nowadays, you could, as I mentioned earlier, you can definitely take advantage of your collection pages. I know that those are always, you know, curated and you know definitely what you're adding there. But having a search bar and making sure that it's also visible is definitely important. You know, this will, again, will make sure that customers are not only comfortable with being able to search for things on the site, but, you know, are clear that the at that, that functionality is being available on the site and that they can definitely leverage it. You know, we have seen a couple different designs nowadays with the hidden search bar that we see here on the top being used more so for uh, mobile design, which is definitely still a good option given, you know, the different screen sizes that are nowadays. But again, having a visible search bar will ensure that customers are inclined to use a search option, and then they can also always feel comfortable with finding it on the page. The next point that we're going to go over is only having one search bar. You know, this is not, isn't really as common anymore, but, you know, it is always here and there. You're going to see those websites that they have two search bars that, you know, do the, really the exact same thing. You know, having a search bar for one of your filter options or for a specific section in the site that isn't directly, you know, connected to that main search bar isn't wrong. But having two search bars like we're seeing here in the top, you know, one in like the middle of your homepage and then one in the top right corner isn't really the way to go as that can definitely confuse the customer experience. And so ensuring that you only have one there will definitely make sure that, you know, everything's looking good and the customers are feeling comfortable in terms of the searching experience. The third and last point is going to be styling, using a button, and the most important part, always giving context to your shoppers. So as you can see on the right hand side, you know, you're going to see, you know, a little bit of padding around that search bar with that purple border, the uh, actual magnifying glass having an icon, you know, really making sure that again, we come back to that user experience bit and making sure that customers are easily able to identify where the search bar is. But alongside that, you know, besides the design aspects, ha giving customers context in terms of what they can search for is always going to be great because they can kind of get an idea of, you know, what you offer. If you have specific brands that you want to highlight, if you have a specific color, styles, anything you, that you add there to the search bar will give, you know, not only new customers an idea of what they can search for, but also recurring customers. Because again, the important thing is that we get them to use that search bar, because once they do, you're going to see our autocomplete to the left-hand side here. And that'll be definitely a great, you know, addition to that visual experience once they start searching for items on the site. So we'll definitely have their backs covered in terms of getting, you know, a preview of the items, the filtering options available, so suggestions for their searches, but giving them an easy indication there in the search bar before they actually type things is always going to definitely help out in terms of making sure that they can get an idea of what may be searched for, but also a really inspiration at the end of the day. The last point here is going to be placement. Nowadays, you know, we do see placements a lot all over the place with the left, the right placement. We have definitely seen that the center placement is always really successful. You know, this really just makes sure that the customer always finds that search bar in the middle of the page. You know, you can always have your about us information in the top left hand side, your login info there with the cart button on the top right hand side. That's always great. But having it in the center placement is really sort of the greatest benefit you can have. Then not also the placement, also we have to worry about consistency. You know, you want to make sure that that placement is always going to be there across the site. You don't want to have a search bar on the top left hand side on some pages, right hand side and then center. Center placement and consistency are the two biggest things. Thanks again for taking the time you know, to watch a couple other tips. If you have any other great tips that you would like to share with us, please let us know. We're always making sure that we're optimizing these. If you find anything that's successful for you, feel free to add it to the comments below. And if you ever have any questions for search room or for customer success managers, please feel free to reach out.